finally convinced Marcus to let me go out. I'd slept most of the day, and he'd stayed to watch over me. I needed to get out and get back in touch with reality. My physical condition was deteriorating rapidly. My mental state wasn't much better. I could feel myself slipping away. I knew that it wouldn't be long before I lost it. Hello, I'm Detective Carla Valenti, NYPD. The police, they found me. of computer paper. I think I must have used it for a book barn. Uh-oh, I'd better try to hide this. Richard III. I often read Shakespeare. I like the sober, desperate tone. Marcus gave me this book, along with the one I left in the restaurant. Better not leave it lying around. I'm Detective Carla Valenti, NYPD. You are Lucas Kane, right? I'd like to ask you a couple of questions. You've got questions you need to ask me? Nothing personal, don't worry. Your boss told me that you were in charge of computer maintenance. I just have a couple of questions, it won't take long. What do you want to know? Could you confirm that this list came from here at the bank? Will he say something about the watermark? The paper does come from here. It has our bank ID code and the watermark. Is there a way to establish where it was printed from? The manager already filled me in, but maybe we can learn something more. This kind of paper is used by stock buyers to print out their quotes. There's about a hundred of them here in the bank. This guy seems really tense. Probably nervous about being questioned by the police. Is there a problem, Mr. Kane? Huh? Oh, uh, no. No, sorry. Is there a way to determine where this particular document was printed out? What's his problem? Seems like my questions are upsetting him. No, not really. Our printers don't leave any identifiable marks. A witness helped us make a composite photo of the suspect. Would you mind taking a look at it for us? Are you all right, sir? Yes, I, I, I'm, I'm fine. I feel tense. I've got to keep cool. This remind you of anyone? Hey, this looks like a lot of people I know. It could even be me. <laughs> You're right, these composites can be a little vague. guy looks a little bit like the composite. Maybe he's the one. Are 
Are you sure you're all right? I... I thought that... Excuse me. Have you noticed anything unusual here at the bank lately? They told me about what happened to this guy yesterday. I wonder if he's gonna mention it. Yes, why... Well, actually, I'm susceptible to epileptic seizures. They're fairly rare, but they can be violent. In fact, I had one yesterday, and I'm afraid I put on quite a show. But that's about the only unusual thing that's happened here recently. That's strange. His forearms are bandaged. I wonder what happened to him. Did something happen to your arms? Oh, I had a stupid accident doing some home repair work. I guess I'm not much of a Mr. Fix-It guy. Is that you in the picture with the priest? Is he a friend of yours? That priest looks a lot like him. Maybe a member of his family. That's my brother, Marcus. Are you sure you're feeling all right? You seem a little peakish. I, I, I might have a little cold. He's lying to me. I can smell it. Damn, maybe this is our guy right here. Stranger things have happened. Uh, I'm not feeling very well. I'm just gonna go and splash some water on my face. Go right ahead. I'll wait for you here. He's acting so strangely. I'd better take a quick look inside his desk before he gets back. There ought to be some fingerprints on it. I'll make it easy to see if this is our man. There's something written on the picture. LKMK, June 2003. One piece of computer paper. I'll take that. Feeling better? Yes. Thanks. I don't have any more questions. I'll let you get back to work. Thank you for your cooperation, sir. <laughs> 